Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I want to welcome you back to the channel and welcome back to our fifth and final installment of new firearms you can expect to see in 2019, as well as some predictions for SHOT Show 2019, which is going to be kicking off here very shortly. Once again, special thanks to our friends over at Guns, Holsters, and Gear.com as they are constantly posting new information about new fire models coming out or revised models coming out on the market. Uh, I will put the link to this article in the description box down below and the comment section on this video so you guys can read in a little more detail if you want to. And so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the majority of this video is going to be based on the rifles and shotguns I wasn't able to cover in part four, but uh, Guns, Holsters, and Gear did announce two new pistols, or they are showing off two new pistols that are going to be hitting the market here this year. So we want to get those out of the way, and then we'll continue with rifles and shotguns. So what we have here is the Wilson Combat Beretta 92G Vertex Centurion Tactical. Uh, this is going to be one of those custom models that you can get that has the Vertex grip frame conversion. And what it's going to do is give you a shortened slide with a tight fit to the frame, uh, 4.3 inch stainless steel barrel with a recessed crown, a skeletonized hammer, and U-notched rear sight with an Ameriglow front sight that is a tritium vial with an orange ring and G10 grips. Uh, the idea behind this is that uh, it's going to be a little bit better for somebody with a medium to smaller hands. Uh, the gun is going to ship with two 17-round Beretta magazines and one 20-round Beretta magazine. The price is going to be $1,495. Again, we also see the importance of handguns for those people that might have limited grip strength or unable to properly manipulate a semi-automatic firearm. And as we all know, Smith & Wesson has the M&P 380 Shield Easy. Well, now they're going to release it with the uh, Crimson Trace uh, Green Laser Guard model. And so essentially, by simply gripping the pistol down here, you're going to be able to activate the laser. Uh, you are going to have that uh, rear back strap grip safety, but they are going to offer a model without a manual thumb safety. And I'm not sure exactly if they offer that right now, but they're announcing that this model will be available without a thumb safety. So if if you want it, go for it. So again, this is the M&P 380 Shield Easy with the Crimson Trace Green Laser Guard model. Okay, so continuing where we left off with uh, part four with the new rifles and shotguns, we're checking out the Rise Armament Watchman. So it says Rise Armament announced it's uh, starting a new law enforcement division called Rise LE. The idea was to create an AR or AR pattern rifle that is supremely accurate and highly dependable. Um, it's going to be offered with a 223 chamber, 223 wild chamber, and or 300 blackout. So you're going to have a couple different options that uh, you can run through it. If you're not familiar with the 223 wild, it is essentially going to give you, oh, I guess you could say the 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 accuracy of the 223 Remington with the ability to stand the pressures of the 556 NATO rounds. Uh, again, for some people, that's very important. Uh, the gun also has a 416R barrel that's said to shoot sub MOA with factory ammunition. I really want to see that be tested to prove it. Um, not that I'm doubting it can be done, but uh, again, other features include an M-Lock handguard, a Magpul CTR stock, an LE145 trigger with a 4.5 pound pull, four prong flash hider, and a lifetime warranty. Price has not yet been announced. So now this one I think I need to do a little more research on to just understand it better. What we have here is a Radical Firearms RX-03. And just to sum it up as easily as I can, it's an AR-style rifle that's running on a SIG P320 fire control group. Now, I don't know if that's going to be sold as a standalone firearm or if you're going to have to take your fire control group out of your P320 and put it in the chassis of the Radical Firearms RX-03. But either way, it's going to feature a striker fire bolt carrier group. It's going to be uh, AR-compatible with Stenag magazine walls, uh, compatibility with mil-spec like buffer tube stocks, barrels, handguards, etc. You're going to be able to uh, pick this up in 5.56 NATO, 9mm, and 300 blackout versions, and additional cartridges are going to be supported uh, later on, and it's going to be released in the summer of 2019, so hopefully we'll have more details exactly on how this functions. I'm really interested in checking out that bolt carrier group, and uh, again, that's Radical Firearms RX-03. And uh, many people may, may not realize it, but Wilson Combat does, in fact, uh, build air-style rifles. And if you're looking for one, but you don't necessarily have the money for their standard line, they are going to have the Combat Protector Series, which are going to have an MSRP under $2,000, which, again, you know, that's a lot for some people, but uh, you just, you know, you take it as you want. Uh, if you decide to go with this Wilson Combat Protector Series, you're going to get a match-grade stainless steel barrel with a Q-Comp muzzle device, a Wilson Combat two-stage tactical trigger unit, uh, free-floating Wilson Combat slim handguard with M-Lock attack, attachment points, armor tough finish on the receiver and barrel, and a BCM pistol grip and Roger super stock. Uh, this will be offered in 5.56 NATO, 300 blackout, and 300 hammer. Uh, both rifle and pistol versions will be available. That is the Wilson Combat Protector Series. That is a neat looking AR. 
For those of you who like to roll with the black powder crowd, we have not forgotten about you. We've got the Thompson Center Impact SB muzzle loader. Okay, these are considered to be entry level 50 caliber break open muzzle loaders. Uh, they're going to be called the Impact SB. They've got a hand removable triple lead threaded breech plug, uh, fiber optic sights, the company's quick load accurizer, and aluminum rad ro ramrod. Uh, composite stock finishes are going, to, are going to include black and real tree edge, mossy oak bottomland, and mossy oak breakup country. Um, the metal version is offered in both uh, blued and steel. Uh, weather shield on the coatings on it to protect you from the elements and uh, depending on what you go with the prices are going to vary from $263 to $324 and we're assuming that's the MSRP so they may come in a little bit lower on the shelf so again that's the Thompson Center Impact SB muzzle loader with your choice of blue or silver weather shield finish Okay, moving on, we've got the Rite Arms Tactical Maasai Mara Warden Shotgun. Okay, now this shotgun is going to use the company's Inertia, I'm sorry, Inertia Plus operating system with a rotating bolt to cycle everything from heavy hunting loads to lightweight loads with low recoil, and there's even more features included. Okay, you will be able to uh, take advantage of the removable aluminum trigger housing for easy cleaning. Uh, we've got an 18 and a half inch barrel with a screw and choke system, uh, adjustable ghost ring sights, plus a Picatinny style rail for red dot or other optics, as well as an uh, oversized charging handle and paddle bolt release for easier operation with gloves. Uh, looks like we're looking at a suggested retail price of $899, and again, that's the Rite Arms Tactical Maasai Mara Warden Shotgun. Okay, up next we've got the Mauser M18 and 6.5 PRC. So if you're not familiar with 6.5 PRC, just think of it as the uh, the bigger brother, the older brother. Well, not older, but the bigger brother of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And PRC stands for Precision Rifle Cartridge. Uh, you're going to get the same features as the rest of the M18 line. You're going to get your polymer stock with the soft inlays, a black finish, a five-round magazine, and a 24.4-inch barrel. Uh, prices have not yet been announced, but hopefully we'll find out soon. So that's a Mauser M18 and 6.5 PRC. As we start to see more and more of these uh, big bore AR patterns uh, rifles come to the market, uh, you know, there's a lot of new details coming out on many of these models. So this is the Lewis Machine and Tool uh, 450 Bushmaster AR pattern rifle. So this is going to be one of the options in the uh, monolithic rail platform guns that are out there. Unfortunately, we don't have any news on the pricing or when it's going to be available. But if you're looking for an LMT uh, 450 Bushmaster chambered AR pattern rifle, we have just the ticket for you. Okay, so this is the second firearm to be announced from Iron Horse Firearms for 2019. We are looking at the Century 12 Tactical Shotgun. Um, this is a 12-gauge shotgun that has a 3-inch chamber. Uh, some neat things about it, it's got a single takedown pin for field stripping. Barrels can be swapped out easily uh, with the removal of a single barrel nut, and the stock can also be swapped out. Uh, from the factory, the form can be ordered with a light if you want so. The detachable box magazine holds five rounds. Uh, no doubt about the effectiveness as lunch has just been caught. And uh, so there you go, the Iron Horse Century 12 Tactical Shotgun. Make sure you check it out. No, no word on pricing yet for this model at this point. Oops, okay, quick correction on that one. The MSRP is going to be $899 without a light, and the pre-order price is going to be $629.30. Uh, hard to tell what your, uh, what your over-the-counter price is going to be exactly, but that is, again, one more time, the Iron Horse Century 12 Tactical Shotgun, MSRP of $899 without the light. Again, guys, the retro style firearms are definitely making a comeback. Uh, they started that off in 2018 with those Brownells offerings with their uh, their uh, M style M16 style rifles, and now we're going to continue that with the Mossberg Retrograde 500-590A1 shotguns. Got a pair of new shotguns coming out in 2019. Uh, these are part of the Retrograde line. They're going to use uh, old school walnut stocks and corn cob four ends. One gun's going to be called the 500 Persuader with an 18 and a half inch barrel, uh, brass bead sight, a blued finish. There's also the 590A1, which is what you see in the picture. It's got an a plus one capacity, a 20 inch parkerized barrel and ghost ring sights. Uh, the MSRP on the firearms are going to be $504 and $902 respectively. Very cool look looking shotguns for Mossberg and those are the Mossberg Retrograde 500-590A1 shotguns. Now, definitely one of my favorites is the uh, Steyr monoblock. And again, you know, many people know Steyr for the AUG or AUG bullpup rifle. Well, Steyr does, in fact, make some really nice precision rifles. And what it is about this rifle that's a little bit different, okay, and, and, and what varies it from the rest of what Steyr, ha Steyr has to offer, is that the fact that the barrel and the action, they're both uh, forged and milled from a single hunk of steel. The idea is that you have a nice, rigid, very accurate rifle. Uh, this uh, rifle is going to be introduced in 308 Winchester and 30 out 6. Uh, they're also going to offer 270 Winchester, 7 by 64 and 8 by 57 in 2020. Now the Steyr monoblock is going to feature a four round detachable magazine, a synthetic stock with leather inlays and a, rem a, and a removable trigger unit. So that's a Steyr monoblock. 
All right, so we got the Steyr Scout in 6.5 Creedmoor. This is the uh, the newest uh, model in the Scout rifle series that uh, Steyr has released in more than 10 years. So we're talking about the 6.5 Creedmoor Steyr Scout. Um, it's going to be avail available with stock colors in black, mud, and OD green. Steyr Arms has an MSRP of $1,735 for these guns. Now this rifle gets my vote for the uh, the next rifle you're going to see showing up in the next installment, Halo. has kind of a cool futuristic sleek look to it. Just somewhat typical of Styles uh, offerings out there. So again, the Steyr Scout and 6.5 Creedmoor. Gotta love it. Now, if you're somebody that's wanted yourself an AR-10 pattern rifle, but you don't like all the extra weight, there is some hope for you. Uh, we've got the FIMS Manufacturing Small Frame AR-10. Uh, this new gun's going to use a 7075T6 aluminum receiver set that's going to weigh in at 25.75 ounces. Uh, it says that the total weight of the gun is said to be at 7.25 pounds, and for an AR-10, that is considered very lightweight. So that's a FIMS Manufacturing Small Frame AR-10. Okay, so if you wanted to get yourself a bullpup shotgun, we've got that thing just for you. We're looking at the Charles Daly N4S bullpup shotgun. Apparently, this is just a rebranded version of the Adler J210, which was shown off at last year's SHOT Show. Uh, regardless, of what you, regardless of what you might think about it, it is going to offer a 19.75-inch barrel with an overall length less than 30 inches. Uh, it's going to use modified Beretta Benelli chokes, which is good, so you can expand it if you want to for some sort of hunting applications. Uh, magazine is going to hold five rounds. Uh, Charles Daly says it's going to have a Suggested retail price of $649. Hopefully, we can see that maybe uh, in the stores around $599 or less. So, that's the Charles Daly N4S Bullpup Shotgun. Now, this is another really neat looking uh, shorter scout rifle that really has my attention the Remington Model 7 Scoped Scout Rifle. Uh, what's really cool about it is it's going to come equipped with the Vortex Crossfire 2, 2 to 7, power by 32, objective scout scope, in addition to standard sights. And many times you don't get those iron sights on some of these shorter barrel rifles, such as the, um, the Ruger American Ranch series. Uh, synthetic stock with an earthy pattern, cam camo pattern is going to be used on the gun. No word yet on pricing, calibers, etc. Uh, let's hope that they come out with uh, maybe a 762 by 39. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? So again, that's the Remington Model 7 scope scout rifle. Okay, so fans of the 224 Valkyrie, they're going to have another option out there for them. This is the Diamondback DB15 224B VB, chambered in 224 Valkyrie. Uh, it's going to be just a standard direct impingement style gas system, uh, rifle link gas system, with a 20 inch 4150 stainless steel barrel and a 1 in 7 twist, uh, 7075 T6 upper and lower with a 15 inch M lock rail. Uh, the magazine is going to hold 28 rounds, and the grip and stock are both from UTG. So again, that's the Diamondback DB15 224VB in 224 Valkyrie. Another one of my favorites that we're going to see at SHOT Show this year is the Browning Bar, or BAR, Mark III DBM Wood uh, Rifle. So we've got a semi-automatic 308. It's got integrated Picatinny rails up on top, so you can add a scope if you want to. Uh, it's going to have a Turkish walnut stock and forearm. Uh, it's going to have a, a dark matte blue finish to it. Suggested retail price of about $1,500. Uh, only going to be available in 308 this year, depending on demand. Other calibers may be possible. So that's a Browning Bar, or BAR, Mark III DBM Wood. Okay, another classic that's been around for quite a while is a Browning Buckmark. This one's going to have a threaded and fluted barrel with uh, gray laminate grips. Uh, we're going to be featuring an 18.4-inch bull barrel that's going to ship with the gun as well as the muzzle brake. Uh, the stock and forearm are both made of a gray laminate wood. Picatinny rail and the receiver is going to allow you to put an optic up there uh, without, too many, without too much of a fuss. Uh, it's going to be chambered in 22 long rifle. It's going to come with a single 10-round magazine with a suggested retail price of $739.99. That is the Browning Buckmark with a threaded and fluted barrel. And not but not, last but not least, we've got the Magnum versions of the Ruger Precision Rimfire Rifles. Uh, these are going to be offered in 17 HMR and 22 WMR. Uh, looks like we've got some nine-round versions of the guns that will be available for people that have magazine restrictions. However, standard capacity on these rifles is going to be uh, 15 rounds. Uh, these new Rimfire Rifles are going to come with an 18-inch threaded barrel, M-Lock accessory attachment points. Uh, let's see, Ruger, Ruger did not add a Magnum tax to these guns as they have the exact same price as the original non-Magnum 22 LR gun. We're looking at $529, plus you get all the flexibility of making that gun fit and work for you. Again, special thanks go out to Guns, Holsters, and Gear for all this awesome preview footage of what we can expect to see at SHOT Show 2019 this year. Guys, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe, and you can follow me over on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all over the place. Uh, and also, if you're if you're up for it, you can sponsor the channel over there on Patreon. It's patreon.com backslash travsp11. Uh, we've got a pretty, I got a fairly large YouTube channel with a big uh, catalog of videos out there for you, and uh, any of those funds definitely go back into the channel. They pay for farms, they pay for ammunition. And so again, my channel is travsp11. 
everyone. Thanks for joining us. You guys had enjoy all those new uh, goodies coming out of SHOT Show this year, and we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.